Now we are going to talk about how we can create a transport which has multiple object entries for different transports. So let's do one thing. Suppose we will find some transports here. I'm going to fit into my own transports. So what I'm going here in AC09, I'm going here and I'm releasing. Okay. I'm seeing all the transports that are released. So suppose I want to include uh, uh, suppose all the objects related with these transports so i'm going here what i'm going to do is and this is very useful when you have objects that you want to move transports and you really don't know uh all the means you have a bunch of objects that you want to move in one single transport and this is after a support pack or something which you cannot move so what I'm going to do first thing is I'm going to create a workbench request. Okay, and we'll see to we'll put test transport. Okay. And here. So once we created this transport, now what you have to do in SAP, you just click right click, okay? Uh, and you click include include objects. And here, what you are going to do, you say object from multiple requests. Now here, you press the green arrow, okay, and what happened? position the cursor, didn't open, oops, and a modifiable object, okay, so probably I need to do this one, include objects, click enter, there it is, so first thing you want to delete this, don't so I was making mistakes. I'm picking up the sub task instead. I need to pick the main task. Here I added my trans things and uh, the transports and I'll just execute and if you see I'll just click I'll just select merge. How do you want to perform the action online? And if you see I have everything just at one go so you don't have to go to each program and make a small change and activate you just did it like this okay and I repeat how I did it is I clicked on this I did include objects here and uh, and then I selected this one I went here and I made sure I kick this out and I added all the transport and that's it our transport was ready and you can use it and this is very useful i'm pretty sure you will use this multiple times in any project you're working with or with any customers that are using sap so stay tuned to my channel and happy sap learning